Well, it has been three years since people with student loans have had to pay anything back to the government. But as of Sunday, that grace period has come to an end. Now people across the nation are feeling a financial dilemma. CBS 58's Bryant McRae spoke with hometown borrowers and reports from Milwaukee. There are more than 45 million people out there with student loans and of course some of them living right here in Milwaukee. So we wanted to get their reactions to see if they're ready to start paying back Uncle Sam. For it to come back, it's really kind of a gut punch. It's a moment many people from across the nation have been dreading, the continuation of payments for student loans. It's been really hard to just like stay afloat. I think everybody's kind of like paycheck to paycheck. As of October 1st, actress Jocelyn Zamito is joining the millions of people paying back their student loans. The loans restarted after a three-year pause, which was enacted in 2020 during the Trump administration. The reprieve a part of a series of pandemic related economic relief measures refreshing the financial clock for some now that time has run out. During the three years, borrowers did have the option to continue making payments on their loans. I think it's a really smart decision. Um, either paying while there was no interest accruing, of course, they're they're going to pay less. Students are going to pay less in the long run. Some people hopeful Biden's promise earlier this year to cancel $20,000 of student debt will pan out, but it was a plan rejected by the U.S. Supreme Court. So I was hoping I could just pay that $5,000 and then just be done, but... Um, guess it didn't happen. This summer, President Biden rolling out the Saving on Valuable Education Plan, an income-driven repayment option looking to meet borrowers where they are. For a lot of us, it's, it's, yeah, it's just something that maybe right now financially we can't do. In Milwaukee, Bryant McCray, CBS 58 News.